Hello, <clears throat> my name is Francis Fox. I'm a trained remote viewer and all my psychic skills have been developed. <clears throat> all of you have psychic skills, which have been denied to us for an awful long time. I can see that in the Renaissance from their art that they did have access to the other dimensions and that they included what they saw in their art and they didn't seem to be taken down, I guess, until Galileo started talking about off planet. Was that the way it was? Well, that's happening here. So we are going to give you news from other dimensions um, and then go into, this is what we've created. And then we're going to go into the remedy, which is to train our mind and vitalize it towards creating the reality that we would want now that we're thinking about it and now that we're paying attention to it. Um, I did this day of the eclipse yesterday. And the one thing I want to refer to here is this spiraling, which means an awful lot of emotions. This was at two in the afternoon, the heaviest time here in Miami in the eclipse. And then during this same chat last night, I got a panic attack, which I don't generally get panic attacks. The last time was when the fault line under New York moved. And I said, mm, we have a potential for an earthquake. And then three or four days later, we had the earthquake. So this is what I drew at seven at night yesterday. We had a break here in this area of the country. Fire shot through. Initially, it didn't have this shooting through. It was simply the, the red fire, the X, which indicates black magic, either people that are humans on the planet or the ETs also do black magic. You need to know, these are things that have been known for, for centuries. If you don't know them, then what you need to do is take it in, take it in, take it in, and not invest in anything I'm telling you to invest in, but get the information because this is not new. It's just, we never thought that such modern people, we would have to deal with this stuff. We have to deal with it in spades now. So there was a break in the Higgs field in these states having to do with an excess of the fire element, which is toxic and breaks the Higgs field, which is what creates order. So now we have tremendous disorder. And then it broke even further and we had a stream of fire coming up. And I got the words, the gods are angry, which is what humans used to say when there were huge catastrophes. Oh, the gods are angry. Well, the gods are angry. Also, I put low rumblings and earthquakes. <clears throat> Why am I showing this to you? Because if we do enough mantras, we can clean up that area. What, what am I talking about? The reason I was able to predict earthquakes was because there were situations in which large groups of humans did not process their fire, their rage, their anger, their impatience. They were civilized, they put it away. And they could have yelled at somebody or in the case of New York after 9-11, everybody went into the compassion, but they did have rage, didn't acknowledge it, didn't deal with it, didn't process it the way you do with emotions. Mother Earth observed, absorbed it. Nine days after 9-11, there was a new fault line that was created due to the toxicity of everything in New York City in that area that was taken in. And five weeks later, there was an earthquake. I had said it would be between four and six weeks. I said it on the 20th of September. So we have the situation going in Colorado exactly where we have a sleeping monster supposedly in Yellowstone, and I keep wanting to say tombstone. Not good. Not good. Um, but we have found that we can reduce the fire, and we don't even need that many people doing the mantras and the visualization. And I'll give you an example, and then we need to get into working on it. During the impeachment the Trump impeachment, everybody was in a rage in the country. It didn't matter what side you were on. So on, on a weekend, the Mantrista movement, the group, we get together at night. It's in Spanish. More than welcome to come 
totally open. Um, and I said, why don't we go to Washington? Let's reduce fire. We don't do any politics, none. If somebody starts with an opinion about who's running their country, because a lot of the followers are from Latin America, say, I don't want to hear it. Let's address the issues at the causal level, which is what shamanism is which is how reality is created, which if something's going wrong, there's an imbalance of the elements of fire, earth, water, and air, and the other element, Akasha, we don't need to go into, but there is a fifth element. Okay. So we went underneath the ground in Washington, D.C. We weren't looking for any information other than what's going on there that maybe we can help with. And of course, there was an excess of the fire element. It was boiling down there. So we worked, I don't know, it wasn't that long, 20 minutes, half an hour. We worked with the mantra to reduce fire and with the mantrista music video for reducing fire. It was a Saturday night, I believe. On Monday, the impeachment trial went on again. In other words, they started up again. They resumed. And by Monday afternoon, it was very funny because the man who was supervising the trial that had been very fiery and everything that he was saying against Trump, he fell asleep during the impeachment proceedings. And I was like, wow, because you see, insomnia started heavy duty on this planet when we started to have a, the, imba the balance of the elements got really bad and there was too much fire. Fire doesn't let you sleep. But if you reduce it, you can sleep. And we had reduced it to such an extent that there was no violent rage that Monday. We can do this. We can clear this. But you have, <clears throat> I'm sorry that we're bringing this so late to the table, but there's so much information that we bring to the table that people have maybe not been listening to. And one of the reasons they don't listen is because it's too simple. It's just too simple. It's not possible. This whole impeachment thing, actually people were in less of a rage. They were more civilized on Monday because a group of people did a mantra and a visualization. Yes, they did because that's the way reality is created in the other dimensions. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and have you assess yourself right now. How do you feel from one to 10? One, you wanna slit your wrist, 10, you feel like a million dollars, and then let's do the gold dress. Let's go through our paces, let's stay disciplined. Okay, how does it look to you? The, the last row, does not look good to me, which should mean in my case that my lower energy centers are still full of depression. And that is totally accurate. The top of it looks great. And I can see for the first time that near the left shoulder of the dress, which is on the right side, there's a slash of pink. I can actually see the pink. I've never seen it before today. And there's the whole point of all of this. The golden age is already coming in. We're leaving the age of Pisces. We're entering the age of Aquarius. The golden age energies are coming, but we still have that iron age stuff. You cannot see the golden age opportunities, things. I was at five years. I never saw that pink. I can see it now, but we're all in an ascension process. And in terms of simplicity, you won't see golden opportunities unless your vibration is high enough. So we're not trying to get you to believe in anything. We're trying to get you to learn how to self-correct your mind, uh, detoxify it, and then align it and vitalize it towards what it is that you intend, which is not to have the potential for Yellowstone to become a tombstone. For that, we got to go after that magnum of fire that's there but we can do it. And if you know me well enough, or you know people who know me, you can ask them. I am not a positive psychic. Actually, people say that I, I'm, I'm just too tough. And I have several people that when they introduce me, they tell people, listen, don't ask Frances a question unless you're willing to listen to the answer, the truth, because she does not fix anything. She delivers it as it is. So when I tell you that we can take care of this, we can. We just need to get enough people to do it. And we're not asking about anybody donating anything but the power of their mind. 
So the mantra that we are going to use, and I think we need to go directly towards Yellowstone Tombstone. I don't think we really have the option to go into how elegant. Um, let's go ahead and do five minutes of, even though I hate, my heart is broken and I want to die. I love and accept myself to kind of adjust ourselves because this is the way we've been feeling. Um, okay. This is interesting. Some interference here. Excuse me a second. Something froze here. There we go. Nope. It froze. Okay. So I have to write it. Give me a second because, and we can, if somebody was making a very interesting comment on X about their computer and the way it started to write by itself and its fingers were, um, in 1996, 97, somebody that was a psychologist that I used to send my clients to for spirit release therapy. In other words, they had spirits that had attached. Once it's a possession, you need somebody different. And she told me and she whispered, she said, do you know in the future, the, the spirits are going to get inside our computers. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yes. It's the whole thing with AI. Okay, so let me write it down. Let's see if this unfroze. No. Give me a second. Let me see if I have. No. I cannot even force quit it. Okay, here we go. Everything is freezing. Okay, here it is. There it is. And I'm going to put the music on that's for the, our energy center that deals mainly with emotions which is the energy center that has our liver, spleen, gallbladder, digestive system. Mm -hmm. So when your digestion is off, emotionally, you are intoxicated and you need to take care of that. And this mantra can help. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do five minutes of this. We're going to do 10 minutes of this. Okay, this will help with the depression. It helps with our broken heart because all human beings' hearts are broken. This is not the way we thought it was going to be here on planet Earth.
feel. These are your energy bodies. The one that we are working on is the gold one, which is your spirit. And it's magnetic. And this graphic is not so well done, but you can see them. <clears throat> that is the one that when we get very angry, we don't align with it. All these bodies have to be aligned. One inside the other, like the Russian dolls. When we get angry, society doesn't accept it. Our mates don't accept it. We don't accept it. <clears throat> we push it away. And then we can have a split personality, such as everybody who does alcohol, drugs, has some kind of an addiction, goes into rages. Autistic children have several of them. This is the one that needs to heal. Earth has all of these bodies also. <clears throat> so... How are you feeling? I hope better. Let's go ahead and go into the main mantra, which is not going to be peace and prosperity, because if we don't reduce the fire, Yellowstone is going to become a tombstone for the entire country. Okay? This is the mantra. And we're going to choose the trilling music, which is the music <clears throat> that is the frequency of lower left you see the gold body arms extended and all those green mind strings the frequency of the mind strings which create reality is the frequency called trilling which is the sound of birds chirping so we're going to use a video that we created mateo cuaron was the one who uh produced it it's an incredible um musician from Mexico. And this is the mantra. <clears throat> Please, and the mantras are repeated in silence. You don't move your mouth with the words. The mouth is only for expelling breath. Please God help us to our intention to miraculously purify the fire in the United States. It really should say excess fire, but let's go ahead and start and I'll change the mantra. And I want you also to visualize there are about 10 known human psychic skills, superpowers that have been known forever. I don't know their names. They're called SIDHAs, S-I-D-D-H-A. It's a collection of superpowers. There is one in which you can make yourself little or you can make yourself super big simply through intention. In this case, you are going to make, you're going to use a superpower. It's very easy. You just do it in your head, visualization. Now, if you have a hard time visualizing, then you'll struggle more than others initially. Okay. Visualize the United States very, very small and stick it inside an igloo of ice and then put that igloo of ice underneath the cascading water that you're going to, oh, this is not the right music. No, 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 no. The music that we're going to use is the one that was designed composed to reduce fire. It's called Agni, which is fire. And visualize the United States very small. Stick it inside an igloo. Put the igloo underneath the cascading cold water. Repeat this mantra in silence. Expel through your mouth, two feet on the floor. I hope you have the Apana Mudra. Two fingers in the center with the thumb. <sighs> Both hands and put the outside of your hands on top of your knees. Go ahead and start here, and I'm going to change the mantra to include the word excess fire. Okay? Three minutes.
took off an, a minute uh, because I just realized something. The images of Jesus, I'm not Christian, I'm not Catholic. The images of Jesus Christ and his crucifixion gives us a lot of information. Where the lance was able to pierce him was his liver. It turns out that there is a channel that goes from the back of the human liver to Orion that channels evil into planet Earth. That channel is like in the movie Matrix, where they take that tube and they insert it in the back of the neck. That same thing we have in the back of the liver. Why am I putting this graphic of Jesus Christ? Because we can't see that. We didn't know that. We couldn't interpret that message. We didn't have the information because it's other dimensional. 
Why did it get this bad with our rage? Because we couldn't see what we did to this country because we didn't emote our negativity and we caused an earthquake. We probably also called, caused the Twin Tower issue, which is an act of rage because New York has been a, a city of frustrated people. They call it the city of hate in Europe. I did not invent that. If we could see in the other dimensions, we would have been we would have seen that buildup of the excess fire element, and we would have taken care of it. If we could see, this wouldn't be happening. Now, I have validation on this happening because one of the mantristas sent me an email, and in Colorado, which is the center of this issue, I know um, Yellowstone is a little further up, but yeah, what we know about Yellowstone is a little further up. But in Colorado, they didn't have school on Monday because it was too hot. And this is too hot, except it broke the Higgs field. So back to Jesus Christ and his crown of thorns. He wasn't allowed to see. We weren't allowed to see. We couldn't see. And that's why I'm trying to take all of you to where you can see. And then you can be. And then it makes sense to take your responsibility. Oh, look what I'm doing. It's not a coincidence that a lot of people that are super liberal, if they get angry, they get like really crazy because they have an accumulation of the anger because they don't think it's right to be angry and they're not supposed to be. All of that pressure, that social pressure has turned us into pretzels because human beings have emotions. Even Jesus Christ kicked the money changers tables. So that message that crown of thorns is a message to us that this, there's something very valuable here that we need to go after. And that is our third eye. A lot of people think it's a pineal. There's actually another clan there that hasn't been discovered yet called the Mimosa. I think it was, they knew about it in the middle ages. That's where our superpowers are, but that's where our ability to see and science discovered tissue, eye tissue in the middle of the forehead. I don't know, 30, 40, 50 years ago. So they said that maybe, well, we got eye tissue in the middle of the forehead. Eye cells, eye cells. So maybe we had a third eye. Well, we do have a third eye, except it's internal. And in the Bible, it says, when thy eyes become one, then I don't know you. I think you granted, you granted entrance to the kingdom of heaven. Again, I'm not Christian. I'm not Catholic. I'm not biblical. So when your two eyes become one, it ceases to get to heaven. This is the truth. So the reason I'm here, it's been every night for the last several weeks, Monday through Friday, is for you to develop this so that you can prevent this in your own home. And then collectively, we prevent it in the country. Now, I have to tell you, I think we reduced it a lot. Is that possible? What did all of you see? For those of you that do know English, and if you want to put it in Spanish, it's okay. I'll translate it. Um, what is it that, um, did you see a big change? Because I could see a big change. And what you were doing is not a novel thing on the planet. It's just been lost to us in modern age. And throughout planetary history, there have been people with superpowers. We call it mythology. We have to study it. We have to study something that's a little story. Carl Jung said it was stereotypes, uh, symbolic. No, it's not symbolic. It, it represents what's in the other dimensions. It's real. So I guess you could say it's symbolic of what's in the other dimensions. But let's get over to the other dimensions. Could you feel? Do you feel better about that fire? And I relaxed a lot immediately when we started to work. I relaxed a lot. So let's go to here. We have here how we started. Everybody very depressed. Those are the mind strings. This thing I don't like. And then you developed your, this is your spirit body, remember? Let's go here. That is your gold body, your spirit body. So there you go. That's how we looked at the beginning. And then as we did the mantra, then we lost the depression, even though we're still with the mouth open state of shock. 
But then at the end, we look like this. And except we're insecure because we're in a frequency shift. Our, our energy field is vibrating. A lot of times, most of the time, you can see the light around me changes colors because my energy field is in a tremendous frequency shift. And it's not just smooth sailing. It's not just one, two, three, click a button and then you're there. It's, it's very jarring and jittery. So I think we did a good job. Let's go ahead and do um, the last mantra. And I, I see that nobody contributed as to what they were seeing or feeling. Maybe they'll tell me later in the next chat in Spanish. We're going to now direct ourselves a little bit to our lack of faith. And we're going to do the telegram mantra, which you take these words, we trust, we trust, we trust. I was showing it to you. I trust, I trust. Right now, we got to take care of the collective. Uh, market confidence is one there's we trust in the marketplace. We, we trust. Who trusts today? Nobody and nothing. And if we keep with the revelations about the people that have been in charge of us, corporate people, government, et cetera, institutions, we're never going to get back the trust, but we need to be able to trust because until now, our economy is based on market confidence, which is trust. So we're doing this as our contribution to stabilizing the economic situation. Same thing. Do not move your mouth with the words, expel the breath through your mouth, direct it here. There are symptoms to when the mantra is working yawning, uh, sudden pains, teary eyes, um, stomach ache. You feel like something's crawling on you. Those are spirits that you woke up. They know they're on their way out because you're waking up. So let's go ahead with that. And I'm going to choose a music that has to do with the upper chakras. And let's do five minutes of that. And then we have to let it go. There we go. I do feel so much better. <laughs> Thank you.
nothing happened during the eclipse? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And it happened at 7, 7.15 last night. An accumulation of toxic fire element from repressed rage broke through in Colorado. I think we reduced it. But reality on the physical dimension will let us know that. Even though prophecy, and it, this is a bit prophetic in the sense that this hasn't happened on the physical dimension yet, even though one of the followers said that they had to shut down schools and I don't know what else because it was, it was too hot, which is too much fire in Colorado. We won't really know how much of a difference we've made which doesn't mean the map is wrong if nothing happens. It means that we worked on it and we reduced at a causal level the excess fire that destroyed the Higgs field in that part of the country. So I, I, I need to go back to this because honestly, we're in end times. If we don't stop lying, it's going to be harder to get to this. I'm not lying, but I do withhold some stuff and I shouldn't do that. This is extra protection. And I'm remembering that when we started with the mantra for miraculously creating miraculous peace, miraculous prosperity, the first time I did it with an individual and I was sketching her every step of the way, she got this protection because she was working for the community and we got it again. This has to do with the process of separation on the planet where in the Bible, the Mayans, the dolphins said that we would divide into two groups. One group is going to kind of get lifted away from the horrors and the other group will fall into hell. Uh, this is the way we're going to get lifted up. My name is Francis Fox. We are in End Times, Revelations, the Apocalypse. We are no longer protected from galactic beings even though some of them were always able to come in. We are now part of a galactic family. We have, there's no guidebook. We have no idea. And too many of you are still debating whether those beings exist. You need to very quickly get up to par because just simply saying that they don't exist does not, does not protect you from the consequences of not knowing that there are forces out there some of which are beneficial and others which are not. It's very complicated, but only complicated because we insisted that if it wasn't on the physical dimension, then it wasn't really that important or we couldn't deal with it. And I know in this part of the world, the Catholic Church did that when science still developed 600 years ago, but in other parts of the world also, and they didn't have the Catholic Church there. With a little help with from our enemies, the negative part of the spirit world, we've been able to not deal with the biggest factor in human, the human condition, which are spirits. Those ETs are spirits. They don't have physical bodies. So hopefully we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And I feel so much better. So thank you for joining me. And I do believe we made a difference.